Hey YouTube, this is on my fourth video. This is on how to jailbreak the 1.1.3 firmware or the 1.1.4. They are basically the same thing, but I would prefer to go to 1.1.4 because it's the most latest version. There's 1.1.2. Show you that I have that. Make sure you understand. If you don't have 1.1.2 jailbroken, watch some of my earlier videos and it'll tell you exactly how to get there. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 1.1.4. You're going to want to go to Installer. I already have these two things downloaded, so I can't download them. One of them is OpenSSH, and the other one is BSD Subsystem. That is for 1.1.4. If you're wanting to go to 1.1.3, I don't know why you would, but if you decide to, you're going to need to download another thing. It's called services. Alright, now after you've got that, go to your sources in the bottom right hand corner, click edit and add. You're going to add this source. It's called iPod Touch Master dot com slash files slash repo dot xml that's ipodtouchmaster.com slash files slash repo dot xml and if you still didn't get it that source will be in the description of this video after you've done that click OK it's going to refresh the sources which depending on how long how good your Wi-Fi is, how long it's going to take. After it refreshed your sources, you're going to go to the Install tab. Go down to Mobile Jailbreak. Now, if you want 1.1.3 firmware, you're going to want to click on the 1.1.3 Jailbreak Trust iPhone apps. If you want 1.1.4, Click on the 1.1.4 Soft Jailbreak Plus apps. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, you're going to click Install. Install. It's going to say this will take a very long time. Do not install unless you have Auto Lock turned off and 160 megabytes running your iPod. Oh, which reminds me, be sure you set your iPod. To never. I actually did not do that. Okay, make sure it's a never. Now, just go back to installer. Now, say this jailbreak 1.1.4 also install the iPhone applications for free. So, we're saving you money here. Saving you that $20 I, uh, iTunes would make you pay. So, you need to donate to us. We actually spent the $20, so we're out. But, you know, we're doing this for y'all. It says props to the original devs because we can't do this without them. This is iPod Elite Team's source. This is not our source. This is just how to do it. It said make sure your iPod is fully charged and before and make sure it is before you attempt because it's going to take a very long time. Click OK. Now it's going to stick there and it's going to stick there until it is done. Now I suggest waiting for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. If your iPod has not restarted by then, you will need to manually restart it. So just all you're going to want to do, hold in the home button and the power button after an hour and 15 minutes. And then just let go after your iPod turns off. And then click the power button, turn it back on, obviously. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell you for now. I will be back later when it is done. Okay, guys, it is now restarted, and it will come up and be jailbroken 1.1.4. This is exactly what it should do. It will just all of a sudden go to this, and it will turn on and off and on. So, I will wait here and show you what the final version looks like. Sorry. Right. Oh, here we go. Slide to unlock. Unlock. It's going to say, just, just dismiss. 
All right. Now, you have 1.1.4, Joe Broken iPod, as you can see. Now, plug into my computer, so I'll prove to you that I have 1.1.4. Plug it up. Hold on a second. My computer's slow, so it is going to take one second. Let me show you. I'm sorry for the wait. Oh, there it is. 1.1.4. And then there's the jailbreak with all the iPhone apps. It also has the best feature there is. Wiggle feature, as you can see. All of them work. Just to show you whether right there. All right, now there's one more thing you need to do, or else you're not going to be able to install very many things. What you're going to have to do in order to install more than just a couple things, it's going to free up most of your disk disk space. You're going to go down to Boss Tool and find it. There it is. Install it. Like I said, you have to do this. You will also need to do this with 1.1.3 if you do it to that. Now, you're going to click on Boss Tool. You're going to go to Free Disk Space. Just click on Free Disk Space. Now, you're going to see it's going to say Relocate Fonts, Relocate Ringtones, Relocate Apps. I would suggest just relocating fonts. That should be plenty of memory. It's going to say do it or I'm scared. Just do it. I, it is very safe. I did it personally. did it every time I've jailbroken my iPod. It's just going to have a little circle spinning in the middle for a little while. should go just do this for about a minute, but this is pretty much the only way you can download stuff. If you, get to, if you don't do this, you'll download, you'll see, you'll download about seven things possible around there, and then it will just stop working. Now, it says right now, four megabyte free out of 270, 279 megabyte. On that. So, sorry for the wait, but I am promised it'll be worth it in the end once I show you. Should be about done by now. There we go. Fonts. Now it says 88 megabytes free. So it, it frees up a lot. Now you're, it should say fonts already moved. That means you can't do it again. I, I've honestly never done relocate ringtones or apps. It shouldn't hurt. So if you have to, if you absolutely have to, I guess you could do it. But you definitely shouldn't have to. Alright. Go home. There's everything. Works perfect. Wiggle function. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video on how to jailbreak 1.1.3. Please donate, use some money. Thanks.